G'day and welcome to Bikes and Bits 1000. Today we look at what happens when you take a Z900 and add a large dose of retro styling. So regular viewers of this channel would have seen my uh, mate Stu's 2021 Kawasaki Z900 uh, in the red and black but uh, he's been working on a project for a while and uh, was the original intention of why I bought this bike and uh, let's see what he's done to it. So here's Stu's uh, Z900 that's now been transformed. Uh, let's have a bit of a chat to him of how it's come about. Righto Stu, here we are with your, uh, your bike. Uh, tell us what inspired you to uh, make the change. Yeah, well, um, about three years back um, on the web company in Spain called Japan Legends came out with this and it kind of went, uh, went viral on the web and everyone was uh, looking at these things and I thought, jeez, that's a good looking bike. And um, at the time I was thinking about a Z900 RS anyway, um, but I really liked this, I fancied something different. And, um, so I bought the kit about two years ago and um, didn't get my shit together for until about six months back. And uh, then I bought my Z900 and uh, this is, was a 2021 Z900 bog standard um, and three months of fabrication and what have you later and uh, here it is. Obviously there's no such thing as a ZXR900 but we're just going to get Alright Stu, tell us what the kit actually involves. So it's a re complete replacement of all this, all this section here. It retains the original seat, which is good because I didn't think it would. I thought I was going to be stuck with a single seater. These panels here are completely different on the Z, so it changes all of that. Comes all painted, etc., etc., but with the decals. Belly pan, of course, is completely um, bespoke, I suppose. Um, the annoying thing with that came with no heat shielding, so that's all had to be done. Um, and of course the standout part is this, this fairing here, which um, didn't fit that well. The kit was pretty poor to be honest, it had to have uh, all kinds of fabrication and welding and mounting and what have you done. As you can see, it had to cut out there by the radiator cap. Um, twin headlamps obviously. It takes all the standard stuff, the ABS, the traction control etc. It is just a Z900 at the end of the day. Yeah. That so still maintains the rear seat too, I noticed. Yeah, which is very handy. Had to relocate the key mechanism to underneath the seat so that you no know, doubt going to get grimed up at some point. But uh, yeah, it's quite handy. I thought I was going to have a single seater, but uh, some unlucky person might end up on the back of it one day. Who knows? And those handlebars look a bit different. Yeah, they're Renfall um, bars. Uh, the idea originally, it did actually. The kit came with them. But, uh, well, not with them, but with different ones, which again didn't quite fit, so I had to get new ones. Um, there was a consideration to just mounting the standard bars upside down, but there's all kinds of clearance issues. Um, these ones are pretty good, but that's one of the reasons they're so wide, is to give the clearance you can see over there with the reservoir, how close it comes to the actual fairing itself. Um, but that's fine. Um, filtering is not going to be the best thing in the world, but... Uh, it's it's fine it feels good and where did you get the kit from a company called japan legends in spain so i got that two years ago almost to the day um they're now out of business so there's no more of these going to be around i'm told it's the only kit in australia um so you got a one one of a kind bike in australia i guess so i guess so very nice. And I noticed the exhaust you changed over to. Yeah, I got a Leo Vinci, just the end can, so it uh, retains the cat. Uh, not particularly loud, um, well, not offensive. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Very nice. Well, hopefully, uh, people might see this on the street and uh, you'll know what you're looking at. All right, thanks very much, Stu. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Thanks for taking a look at the ZXR900. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this sort of content. Cheers.